What up guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Won't be going outside today, but what I will be doing is making a video review of these. These are the Alpkit Gabros. They're a waterproof mountaineering glove that I've owned for almost a year and uh, just about ready to uh, give my verdict on them. Let's go. Well, to begin with, these are a mountaineering glove that I bought just over a year ago from Alpkit. I bought them just around about Christmas and I used them on multiple mountain biking trips, climbing, hiking, hiking in the snow. I've got to say, so far, I love them. They're probably the most comfortable glove I've ever owned. I wouldn't say they're the warmest just because they are designed to have a certain amount of uh, dexterity in them for mountaineering. So um, they have a leather palm, um, they, have a, they have a warm liner. It is more than enough for most winter activities, but I wouldn't say they're as warm as a ski glove. They have a Perel dry uh, liner, which uh, makes them almost completely waterproof. I'll get back to that later. They have a lovely leather palm that's great for grip. They have a drawstring closure here, and they clip together. They clip together like that, which I find very handy for clipping onto my backpack when I'm not using them or when I'm drying them. They also have a panel of fabric on both uh, sides here that's dedicated for wiping mist and condensation off goggles and glasses, which I find actually surprisingly useful, especially for mountain biking. I would say that the Perel Dry Liner is about 99% waterproof. After heavy use, I found that uh, one of the fingers tends to leak. The insulating liner does definitely do a good job of keeping your hands warm. The major downside, and one of the only downsides I can think of, is that the liner takes ages to dry if it does get wet. Uh, I was on a backpacking trip about two, three months ago and the liner got wet and it took a solid day with the liner turned inside out for it to dry and that's just a bit of a pain. But I would say that if you're climbing uh, below zero and you need something that has a certain amount of dexterity and you can still handle an ice axe or a trekking pole, this is a great option. I wouldn't say they're the best option if you're just looking for warmth, but if you're going into harsh conditions and you're gonna be you know, scrambling over rocks, handling equipment, I think these are a great choice. And also, they're also extremely waterproof. I'm coming into my second season using these, and while I can't go anywhere right now because of lockdown, I hope to get out into some snow this winter with these and use them even more. And just generally speaking, I think they're really well made. They've held up really well, uh, and they're quite affordable. I think I spent around about 50 pounds on these. So yeah, that's my review of the uh, Alpkit Gabros. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the like, the comment, the share, whatever you want to do really. With all that being said, uh, I'll catch you in the next video.